Christ is in our midst. Hello everyone, I pray this finds you and your families doing well during this difficult and challenging time. I just wanted to reach out and give another little message about some things that have been on my heart the last uh, couple of months, actually. Um, you know, a word that we throw around a lot in the Orthodox world, and certainly in the metropolis of San Francisco because our metropolitan is so passionate about it, is this term family wellness. In fact, there was even talk some years ago about establishing some kind of a family wellness center or family wellness ministry. And all of these efforts are extremely important, very, um, very well intentioned, and there's some very talented people working on family ministry as we speak, both on the metropolis level and on every parish level, including in our own community, which is a blessing for us. Um, family wellness is an interesting term. It acknowledges that there is always need in every family, in every demographic, in every individual Christian. There's always need for resources for coping with all the challenges that life faces in our world today, and indeed there are many. And perhaps we even feel some of those challenges more acutely during this time of COVID-19 and shelter in place, although God willing, hopefully there's a little bit of ray of light peeking out right now. But nevertheless, for as long as we have to endure this, we're going to make do and we trust that God is with us. In terms of family wellness, once again, we have young people in our parish, we have old people in our parish, we have men in our parish, we have women in our parish, we have people who are married in our parish, we have people who are unmarried in our parish. And every parish is like this, right? It's a cross-cut of society. There are all kinds of people who come to Orthodoxy and all kinds of people that come to the church and seek Christ. And over the centuries and over the millenniums, excuse me, the millennia, the church has made efforts to speak to these people, to everyone, to every one of us, speak to our challenges and what life brings. And indeed, these things are so necessary for a church to do, for the Holy Spirit to guide us to do. I remember being so impressed when I was in college at some of my Protestant friends and the kind of programs they were talking about that existed in their churches on Sundays. And how it seemed that in their community, or at least their ethos, there was a targeted effort to reach every single challenge that a family might face. And I think that there's some effort like that going on in Orthodoxy right now in our country as well. My vision when I was thinking about first becoming a parish priest at my own parish was always this understanding that indeed families do have different needs and different people in the families have different needs. And as I've often said from the pulpit and in some of the uh, other aspects of our worship that, or places that I see all of you, um, you know, the church is very good in Orthodoxy in America and in the old country as well, is very good at communicating to little kids and to older folks. And as time has gone on, there have, there have been more and more efforts for ministering to people in between, specifically targeted ministries. I was so absolutely thrilled just a few days ago, this last Sunday, October 11th, we had in our parish a virtual, but nevertheless, no less real, newlyweds seminar or newlyweds presentation that we did in our church. And we had six couples who came and we had a little discussion we had a little newlyweds activity. It was a lot of fun. And we talked a little bit about the theology of the sacrament of marriage. And we extracted some of the prayers from that service. And we talked about them. We read them amidst all these people. And some of the comments that I heard from these couples, all of them were very appreciative that this program existed for them. But one of the comments that I heard quite often was, you know, when we are preparing for our wedding, or on the wedding day itself, there are so many different things that we're thinking about that we don't really have time to let these prayers and these words get absorbed into our hearts and our, and our lives. And so it's great that we have this forum to be able to do that now. And a lot of them were asking, when is the next one going to be? And those couples who weren't able to be here, there was a lot of interest from them 
again on when the next one was going to be. I didn't even think about doing a next one. I just thought about doing just an afternoon little session with them. But nevertheless, it illustrates a point once again that there is absolutely need in the world, everywhere, that orthodoxy can bring healing to. Until I went to seminary, I did not realize just how many specific needs Holy Scripture spoke to, the saints of the church spoke to, um, various services in the church spoke to. And perhaps some of our people might have a similar experience. If you, even if you just come to church on Sunday, it doesn't always afford you an opportunity to have to hear what orthodoxy has to say about your specific challenge you're facing in your life. That is why I feel programs and ministries are so important. And I have found even during COVID-19, in some cases they're even more important during COVID-19, which is why we continue to do the ministries, of course, uh, virtually. But we realize the challenges that the American or Greek American or Orthodox or non-Orthodox family um, faces today. And so the church being the depository of wisdom, having this treasure that is our faith, and specifics, specific aspects of this treasure, what the saints have written, what Holy Scripture, what the Bible tells us about marriage, about raising children, about being a man, being a woman, being a husband, being a father, um, growing older in life, even dying, being born, everything in between. There are so many beautiful messages that exist in orthodoxy that if they are packaged, if you will, and given to a targeted need or aimed at a, at a group in our a demographic in our community that needs this specifically, I would love that. I would just love to see more and more and more of that. And I will not rest until we continue that and we try to blanket the community and every demographic in the community with giving them whatever they need in order to um, succeed, excuse me, have the tools that they have, uh, have the tools that they need in their life to have a wonderful and rich and fulfilling life with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and with one another. I want to thank all of you for your support of our ministries and our programs and the life of our parish, which is so crucial. This truly is a family wellness center. Every parish is a family wellness center. So together with your help and all of us, we can continue to make it a stronger and stronger and stronger, God willing, family wellness center by the grace of God. I pray that we always keep our chin up and know that God is always with us. As I always say, despite whatever struggles we may be going through and whatever is going on outside our window, there is no circumstance and there's no point in life in which God is not present and not near to all of us. God bless you. We look forward to God willing very soon, worshiping once again in person indoors. May God put his hand upon all those who are in need in our world and in our community during this time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.